Hey friends, welcome to Give Love, Get Love. I'm your host, Nash, and today we are at the Hilton Hotel on City Line Avenue to support a wonderful charity organization called Jada's Voice, which was started by our very own Terry Matthews when she found out that her youngest son, Jaden, was diagnosed with autism at the age of two and a half. Let's catch up with Terry to find out more about their vision and mission behind this amazing charity. and do the best that we can to put them in the best situations for them to grow and evolve their way. So this is Greg. He actually attended this morning's panel discussion. So Greg, tell us what your thoughts were after hearing some of the guest speakers and how you yourself are affected because you have two children that are currently diagnosed with autism, yes? Correct, yes. Uh, I think the panel was uh, very enlightening and it's something that's really needed uh, as far as from the perspective of attracting more men to these events and to be able to better understand the dynamics of autism and to uh, embrace it and uh, to help them get over the denial that they're experiencing. standing here with Jeff, who is actually one of the guest speakers on the panel, and who is also a father with a son who is affected with autism. So tell us your role as a dad and how you cope with your child and, you know, what he's living with. So I guess uh, as a dad, my, my feeling is that, um, you know, I need to be there on a very regular basis. I think sometimes uh, fathers have a tendency to um, look at this in a, in a different way and sometimes we step to the side not necessarily because we don't care or don't love it's just that sometimes we don't deal with things the same way that, that moms do um, you know the opportunity to be here at the event with Jaden's voice has been incredible and, and just to hear other dads talk and be a part and be able to, to hopefully contribute and tell a little bit about my story about my son Ian who is eight um, and just you know some of the things that I've learned as I'm dealing with this um, you know Dr. Nassif who was the moderator said you know celebrate find a way to celebrate and that's that's what you do you you just find ways to celebrate everything that they do and um, you know whether it's uh, a, a mild breakthrough or just you know we're playing Legos and and just have a little bit of fun just celebrate So I'm standing here with Derek Green, councilman at large, and psychologist, Dr. Robert Nassif. You were the moderator for the panel discussion this morning, yes? Yes. So tell us your involvement and how you, you know, deal with children with autism, because you also have a son who's autistic, yes? Right, I'm an adult son with autism. And, and I mean, part of, part of what's so important to realize is that this is a particular challenge for fathers. 80% of children with autism are boys, and they're not the boys their dads expected. So, you know, we go through a process of, uh, you know, really wrestling with our relationship with our sons. And, you know, I think that, you know, came out in the panel discussion. So how long have you been involved with Jaden's Voice, and what do you feel is like the most difficult when dealing with your son? Well, I've been involved with Jaden's Voice for the past couple years. I think the most challenging thing, as Dr. Nassif says, as fathers, we try to fix things. And knowing that you can't always fix everything and work in a more collaborative atmosphere, working with the parents and mothers and other caregivers and how we can do the best we can for our sons. And when you deal with these children, what do you find is the most challenging? And what advice do you have for new fathers? Well. I think the thing that's missing, like we focus a lot on fixing both moms and dads, but the thing that's missing is just enjoying our kids. And in some sense, maybe there's no such thing as autistic behavior. You know, when people jump up and down at a football game, nobody says there's 60,000 autistic people at the link. When an autistic kid jumps up and down in the supermarket, everybody's kind of freaking out. Now when you have enough of these characteristics, you have autism, but they're all human characteristics. So it's like embracing the uniqueness of our children that I think's so important and, and enjoying them. 
and like maybe we have to fall in love all over again sometimes after we find this out but but um you know and it's a journey and enjoying your child is like really the vitamin we need to go on well, thank you guys so much so for much. being here with thank us. You. We thank appreciate you. you and stay wonderful. <laughs>